Hi everyone, welcome to Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute dinosaur. For this tutorial you're going to need plush yarn in three different colours. Green, mustard and cream. I'm going to be working this with a 5mm crochet hook. In addition to this you're going to need black security eyes, pair of scissors, darning needle, stitch marker and some fibre fill. Make sure you've got all of those components. Now before we start, if you enjoy watching my videos, then please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. We're going to start off with the body and let's grab our green yarn for this and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip your hook inside and chain two. To start round one, you're going to skip your first chain and work eight single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Slip your hook in there, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through, both of them in one go. That's what your first single crochet. You're going to be working eight of them all together. So here's second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth one. Once you have your eight single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And once you've done that, this should bring your stitches nice and close together. And we're going to be working in a spiral, so we will locate our first single crochet of our previous round and slip your hook in the top part of that stitch. Pull up a loop from there and work your first single crochet of round two. Now in this round, I'm going back into that same stitch to work another single crochet in the same stitch. So when you work two single crochets in the same stitch, it's called an increase. In this round, we will be working eight increases. Here's my second increase. Third increase. Fourth. Fifth, sixth, seventh, and my eighth one. Now this should bring your stitch count to 16. We're going to start the next round from the next stitch. And in here we're going to work a single crochet in our first stitch, followed on with an increase in the next. So in the next stitch, I'm going to put two single crochets in that same stitch. Now from here, I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of my rounds. So I'm going to put this in my first single crochet. We're going to be following this combination all the way around to finish this round. So your combination for this round is one single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet increase, repeat that all the way around until you get to this stitch and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. Now we're going to start the next round with seven single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, stitch marker back in place, third, fourth, fifth, Six and seventh. Once you have your seven single crochets in a row, you're going to follow that on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. And here's your combination for this round. Seven single crochets followed on with an increase. Repeat that all the way around. You should be able to fit that combination two more times. So go ahead and work this round and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 27. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. Now to finish this round you're going to need 27 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that you're going to follow the same method three more times to have four rounds of single crochet all together. So go ahead Work four rounds of single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of four rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 27. Now I'm going to start the next round with seven single crochets in a row. 
is my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So once you have your seven single crochets in a row, you're going to follow this on with a decrease. Now while we're reducing the number of stitches, you're going to be working these decreases. So slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, and you're going to do the same with the stitch after that. Pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Seven single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease, and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 24. Let's start the next round with six single crochets in a row. Here's my first stitch marker back in place. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Follow this on with another decrease. Slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Do the same with the stitch after that, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Six single crochets, followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 21. We're now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. Here's my first stitch marker back in place. Second, third, fourth and my fifth, followed on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And here's your combination for this round. Five single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, stitch count is 18. Let's start the next round with four single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, third, and fourth, followed on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, yarn over, pull through all three loops that you have on your hook. And here's your combination for this round. Four single crochets, followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 15. Next round starts with three single crochets. One, two, and three. Followed on with a decrease. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 12. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, followed on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you're going to need to work 12 single crochets in a row. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of your one round of single crochets, your stitch count should still be 12. Now we're going to finish off with this body by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. So pull up a loop from there and make this loop go through the loop that was already on your hook. Now we can go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail for sewing. Pull it out and pull this down to secure it in place. And this finishes the body of this dinosaur. Go ahead and stuff this up with some fiber fill before we move on to the belly patch. Now onto the belly patch for this dinosaur and for this we're going to be using this cream colour yarn. Start off by working a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip your hook inside and chain 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now for this belly patch we will be working in rows. So we're going to skip our first stitch here and start our row from the second chain from your hook. Slip your hook in there and work your first single crochet of this row. And in this row we're going to be having single crochets in every single one of these stitches all the way to the end. You should be able to work seven of them all together. And here's my last one. 
Now this first row is complete. Each time when we're going from a row to the next one, we're going to work our turning chain, which is chain one. Turn your work around. And we're going to be working on top of these stitches. Slip your hook in the next stitch, work a single crochet. So we're going to have another row of just single crochets. So seven single crochets in a row again. So this is row two going to be repeating the same process until we've worked five rows of single crochets. So this is row two done, chain one each time, turn your work around. So from row two all the way to row six you're going to be working single crochet rows. So go ahead, work five rows of just single crochet all together and then meet me back here. Once you finish your five rows of single crochet, this is what the belly part should look like. And now we've just finished working round six, moving on to round seven. Chain one, turn your work around. And in this one, we will be starting off with a decrease. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, and do the same with the stitch after that, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. That's your first decrease. You're going to work three single crochets in a row now. One, two and three. You should have two stitches left and we're going to be working another decrease in those two stitches like this. This should bring your stitch count for this row to five. Starting row eight, chain one, your turning chain, turn your work around and in this row we're going to be working five single crochets in a row. So there we go, one, two, three, four, five, chain one, row nine, another row of just single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five, chain one, this is row 10 now. And in this row, we're going to be working more decreases, starting off with a decrease first, so pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. We're going to work one single crochet in the middle and then you should have two stitches left and go ahead and work another decrease in there, like so. And this should bring your stitch count of this row to three. That brings us to the end. Going to chain one here and we're going to go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail, pull this out and pull this down to secure it in place. And here's your belly patch for your dinosaur ready. Now onto the arms and for this let's go ahead and work a slip knot and chain two. One, two. From here we're going to be skipping our first chain here and working six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Here's my first single crochet, second, third, fourth, fifth and my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches and we're going to be moving on to round two. For this you're going to slip your hook in the top part of your first single crochet of your previous round here. Pull up a loop from there and work your first single crochet in here. Now in this round I'm going to be starting using my stitch marker to identify the start of my round. Follow the single crochet on with an increase, two single crochets in that same stitch. And here's your combination for this round. You're going to have one single crochet followed on with an increase. You should be able to fit that two more times. So we're just going to work on that together. And for the third time here, one single crochet followed on with an increase in the last stitch of this round. Turn this the right way around and continue working on your stitches. Now starting round three, we're going to be working a single crochet in our first stitch here. Stitch marker back in place, 
follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round you're going to need nine single crochets in a row. We're going to be following the same method three times all together to have three rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, work three rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be nine. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place, followed on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's our combination which we're going to repeat three times. So let's go ahead and work this together. This is the second time. One single crochet followed on with a decrease. And the third and final time, one single crochet followed on with a decrease. Now this should bring our stitch count to six. As you can see that gap is reducing in size with every stitch. We're going to now take a minute and fill this up with some fibre fill all the way up to this point and then we're going to start our next round. I'll show you what to do from here on. Going to Once you've filled this up with fibre fill you're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round you're going to need six single crochets in a row. We're going to be doing that three times all together to have three rounds of just single crochet. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of your three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be six. We're now going to work a row of stitches across the top to close this gap off between the back and the front of these stitches. So to do this you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch and guide it to go through the stitch at the back as well. So if I pull them apart you can see I've gone through the front and the back of these stitches. Yarn over and pull up a loop and work your first single crochet here. Do the same. Slip your hook in the next stitch here. Guide it to go through the stitch at the back. Pull up a loop and work your second single crochet. Should be able to work three single crochets across. And here's the third one. From here I'm going to chain one, snip this yarn off leaving a little tail or long tail rather to stitch this onto the body, pull this down and this now completes one arm. You're going to follow the same instructions another time to have one more of these. Onto the legs and let's go ahead and start by working a slip knot and chain two. One, two. To start round one you're going to skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. One single crochet, two, three, four, five and six. Once you have your six single crochets you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches and this should bring your stitches nice and close together. To start round two, slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and work a single crochet there. Slip your hook back into that same stitch to work another single crochet in the same stitch, which means an increase. So we're going to be working six increases in this round all together. Here's my second increase. Third increase, fourth increase, fifth increase and my final one increase number six. Now we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in our first stitch to start round three. Stitch marker in place to identify the start of my round. We're going to follow that on with an increase. And here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase and repeat the combination all the way around until you get to this point. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. 
follow the single crochet on with the single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round you're going to need 18 single crochets in a row. You're going to follow the same method one more time after that to have two rounds of single crochet. So go ahead work two rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 18. Let's start our next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with a decrease. Slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Do the same with the stitch after that and pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. Now we're going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Here's my first stitch marker back on. Second, followed on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's a combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease. We are only going to be able to fit this three times in within this round, so we're going to work on that together. This is the second time. And final time, two single crochets. Followed on with a decrease. And once you've finished this round, your stitch count should be nine. Now, before you uh, work on the next few rounds, you're going to fill this space up with some fiber fill as the space uh, between the stitches is reducing. So, we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round you're going to need nine single crochets in a row. We're going to be following the same method three times all together to have three rounds of single crochet. So go ahead, stuff this uh, leg up to this point with some fiber fill, work the next three rounds and stuff that with fiber fill as well and then meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count is still nine. And we're now going to work our final round for this leg and we're going to be closing the stitches on top. So make sure the leg is fully stuffed with fiber fill as much as you would like it. And from here we're going to slip your hook in the next stitch and guide it to come out from the stitch at the back as well. So if I pull these apart you can see I've made my way through the front and back of these stitches. Pull up a loop and work your first single crochet. We're going to be repeating this process until we get to the other side. So slip your hook again in the next stitch, guide it to come out from the back as well, pull up a loop and work your second single crochet. Third, and you should be able to work four of them all together. And there's my fourth one. Once I've worked our four single crochets, I'm going to chain one. And let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail so we can use that later to stitch this onto the body. And there we go, this finishes one leg. We're going to follow the same instructions one more time to make another one of these. Now onto the tail and for this let's go ahead and work a slip knot and chain two. One, two. From here start round one by working four single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Here's my first single crochet back into that same chain stitch to work three more. Once you have your four single crochets you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap. And now moving on to the next round, round two. So we have one, two, three, four stitches. You're going to slip your hook into the first single crochet of your previous round. And there we are. Work a single crochet in that stitch. I'm using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds from here on. We're going to follow the single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. That's one. Going back into that same stitch to work another. And you should be able to repeat this um, combination one more time. So one single crochet followed on with another increase. This should bring your stitch count to six. 
starting the next round, we're working two single crochets in a row. So that's my first stitch marker back in place. Second, followed on with an increase in the next stitch. And repeat this combination one more time. So one, two single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase in the last stitch. In the next round, you're going to work three single crochets in a row. So that's one, two, let's put a stitch marker back in place. Three, followed on with an increase and repeat that one more time to finish this round. Now the tail is made with really easy and simple rounds each time you're increasing two stitches. So I'm going to leave the written instructions on the screen right here now. Follow those instructions and complete the rest of the tail and meet me back here. After following nine rounds of written instructions, this is what the tail would look like. And you should have a total of 18 stitches altogether. And we're going to fasten off by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. And we're going to go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. Pull this out, pull this down to secure it in place. And once we've finished that, there's the tail of this dinosaur ready to sew onto the body. Now onto the head. Let's start off by working a slip knot and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Once you have your five chains, we're going to be working in an oval. So we'll work on the top of these stitches and at the base of these stitches. So to start round one, you're going to skip your first chain and work an increase in the second chain from your hook, which means two single crochets in the same stitch. From here, you're going to work two single crochets in a row. You should have one stitch left in the end and you're going to work three single crochets all in that same stitch. That's one, two, and three. Now this should allow you to turn your work around and work at the base of these stitches. We're going to now work three stitches, three single crochets in a row. One, two and three. Now this should bring us to the end of this round and you should have a total of 10 stitches. Now we're going to start the next round by slipping your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and we're going to work an increase in here. That's one and two stitches in that same stitch. Let's go ahead and use a stitch marker to identify the start of our rounds from here on going to work four single crochets in a row. One, two, three and four, followed on with another increase in the next stitch. So we'll have two single crochets in that same stitch. You should be left with four stitches and we're going to be working four single crochets all together. One, two, three, and four. And this brings your stitch count to 12. Let's start our next round by working three single crochets in a row. First single crochet, stitch marker back in place. Second single crochet, third single crochet. Follow this on with an increase. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase 
Repeat that all the way around till the end. You should be able to fit that same combination two more times. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 15. Starting the next round with four single crochets in a row. One. Two. Three. And four. Followed on with an increase in the next stitch. One. Two single crochets in that same stitch. And you're going to follow this combination two more times to finish this round. Four single crochets followed on with an increase. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round you're going to need 18 single crochets in a row. Once we have done that once, you're going to follow the same method another time to have two rounds of just single crochets. So go ahead, work two rounds of single crochets and then meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 18. Now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Stitch marker back in place, followed on with an increase. And here's your combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. Let's start the next round with three single crochets. Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase. And here's your repeat for this round. Three single crochets followed on with an increase. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. Now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow that single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you're going to need a total of 30 single crochets in a row. Once we've done that, you're going to follow the same method two more times to have three rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, work three rounds of single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 30. Now we're going to pull this stitch out a little bit because we're going to take a minute to insert some security eyes into the head. The eyes I'm using are 10 millimeter in size and they are supposed to be security eyes. Once you put the backing on, it doesn't come off. Now let's find where exactly are we going to insert those. So this is the muzzle of this dinosaur. We want to keep this horizontal, so make sure that the width of this is facing you. So not this way, but this way. Once we've done that, you're going to squeeze the head a little bit to make it flat like this. And we're going to count up to round six and seven. Sorry, round seven and eight. So there's round one, round two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So here's my, here are my rounds. So I'm going to be inserting these eyes in between the round seven and eight. So I've just inserted one. So as you can see, this is flat. I've inserted at the edge of this muzzle. And I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. I'm going to keep about five to six stitches in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is where I'm going to be inserting this eye. Once you've done that, make sure that you are happy with the positioning of the eyes before you put the backing on. And double check that from the back as well, that they both have gone in the same round. And yeah, they both have gone in the same round. I'm going to just go ahead and put the backing on. And we can continue on working on our rounds. Slip the hook back into your stitch. Now from here you're going to start the next round with three single crochets. There's one, two and three. Stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow these three single crochets on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three of these stitches in one go or the loops in one go and here's your repeat for this round three single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around till the end 
At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. Now going to start the next round with a decrease in your first stitch. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. That's my first decrease. Let's put the stitch marker back in place. In this round, you're going to work 12 decreases all together. So just like this, go ahead, follow this on with another decrease until you have 12 in a row and then meet me back here. Once you finish working your 12 decreases, your stitch count should be 12. Now there's only a tiny gap lift left between the stitches. We're going to go ahead and stuff this up with some fiber fill and then meet me back here. After stuffing this head up with fiber fill, we're going to work our last round. And in this one, we're going to be working six decreases in a row. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, yarn over and pull through all three of these loops. And let's keep repeating the same process until we have six decreases in a row. Here's my second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And sixth one right here. We're going to be working one more decrease to reduce the size of this gap so we don't have to sew it in the end. So let's go ahead and work one more decrease. So this is decrease number seven. And from here you should have a tiny little gap which you can close by working a slip stitch in the opposite stitch. Flip a loop from there and make this loop go through the loop that was already on your hook. Now let's go ahead and snip this yarn off. To the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place and we can get rid of this later and that completes the head of this dinosaur now onto the spikes of this dinosaur and for this you're going to take mustard yellow or golden color yarn and you're going to work a slip knot slip your hook inside I'm going to chain three one two three from here you're going to yarn over Skip the first chain and work a half double crochet in the second chain from your hook. Pull up a loop from the second chain from your hook, three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three in one go. From here, I'm going to yarn over, go into the next or the last chain stitch that we have, and we're going to work a double crochet in there. So slip your hook in there, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over, pull through next two. Now this creates your triangle. From here I'm going to chain three again. One, two, three. Yarn over, skip the first chain stitch and in the second one you're going to work a half double crochet. Pull up a loop from there, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. Yarn over and in the third chain from your hook you're going to slip your hook inside and work a double crochet. Pull up a loop, three loops on your hook yarn over pull through first two and then yarn over pull through next two this has created two triangles we're going to be creating nine of those all together so go ahead follow the same method make nine of these all together and meet me back here once you finish nine of these spikes you're going to chain one and snip this yarn off leaving a long tail pull it out of the stitch and pull this down now it's ready for assembly. Now onto the assembly and we're going to begin by attaching the belly patch onto the body of this dinosaur. To do this you're going to line up the top of this belly patch just below round one and this should automatically line up with the uh, stitches at the base. So we are going to hold this in place and stitch this all the way around using this bit of thread. So we're going to catch one stitch on the body and one stitch on the belly pouch. And just like this, we're going to work our way all the way around. Catch the next stitch on the body, and the next stitch on the belly pouch. Moving along each time. Thank you. 
and just like this follow the, the same method and work all the way around and meet me back here when you get to this point I've now made my way all the way back we've got just last final stitch left and once we've done that you're going to go back into that same stitch that we started with to secure it all down and we're going to slip our needle back into this white bit make it come out from the next space and we're going to be securing that in on the inside here so turn this over and we're going to catch just one stitch it could be any one thread even create a loop with your thread like this slip your needle through that loop and you're going to pull this down and this will create a knot in place and it will secure your thread in now i can go ahead and take the needle out and stuff this thread inside and that's the belly patch on moving on to arms and legs i've gone ahead and threaded this bit of yarn into my darning needle we're going to hold this arm across the side so this is the center of the body we're going to hold the arm across the side like this and we're going to stitch this in the same round as the belly patch to the top of the belly patch so we're going to keep about one to two stitches in between the belly patch and the arm and we're going to start sewing this together so catch one stitch on the body and one stitch on the arm just like this work your way across now one last stitch left and you're going to catch the side of the arm to secure it down nice and neatly and once we have sewed it all the way to the end you're going to slip this needle back inside and make it come out from the next space just like the body uh, belly patch and we're going to again say, um, secure this in place on the inside we're doing this by catching a one stitch like this with your needle creating a loop with your thread slip your needle back in inside that loop and pull it down to create a knot in place and there we have it once it's done you can stuff this thread inside the belly as well and just like this go ahead and attach the other arm on as well and then meet me back here the other arm is now on as well we're going to move on to the legs and we're going to be keeping this in line with the arm so as we can see the arm is right here i want to line up the back of the arm with the back of the leg as well like this and we're going to be sewing this one round above where the belly patch is ended so in round above which will be this one here so line it up one more time in line with the edge of the arm it needs to be in line here and once this is done you're going to start sewing using the same method catch one stitch on the arm or the body rather and then one stitch on the leg and work your way across and once we get to the end you're going to secure this down like this and we're going to slip our needle back in that same stitch and make it come out from the base of the either of the leg and this is where we will secure it so catch one stitch and create a loop with your thread slip your needle in and pull it down and this will create a knot in place and from here you're going to slip the needle back inside that same stitch guide it to go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the body pull it out Let's do that one more time so it's really nice and secure and we can go ahead and snip this off from here and there we go arms and legs are now on follow the same method and attach the other leg on as well now the legs are on we're going to grab the tail stuff it with fiber fill and attach it at the base of this dinosaur's bottom 
So we're going to make sure that the stitch that you finished with is facing downwards and you're going to be attaching this two rounds below where the legs are attached. So this is the round where the legs were attached. Going to go one, two, two rounds below and this is the place where we're going to attach the end. So catching the stitch that is right in the middle, you're going to attach the tail like so. Once you've done that part, you're just going to make your way all the way around, catching one stitch on the body and then one stitch on the tail and sew the two things together. If you wish to put some pins in place to hold it in the right place, feel free to do that. And just like this, work your way all the way around and then meet me back here. Now the body of this dinosaur is complete. We're going to move on to attaching the head onto the body. So we're going to start off first of all to, by getting rid of this thread. We're going to do this by threading it into a darning needle, slipping it back inside that same stitch that I finished with, guide it to go through some fiber fill, come out from another side, and now we can go ahead and snip this off. And there we go. Now grabbing the head, you're going to attach this onto the body. Let's zoom out a little bit for you. There you are. We're going to be attaching it around this way. Body of this dinosaur is now complete and this is what it looks like. We're moving on to the head and we're going to attach this head onto the neck around round seven. So six. Uh, this is round seven and eight, these two. This is where the eye was inserted. And we're going to line that up with the front of the neck, just like that. And once you've done that, you're going to hold it in place. Let's find, let's move it from this side because that's where my thread is coming out from. Let's make sure that same thing is happening here. So there's the eye and it's in line with the front of the neck. That's perfect. I'm going to catch the stitch on the head like so. And you're going to work your way all the way around one stitch at a time. So catch one stitch on the head, one stitch on the neck and sew it together. And just like this, you're going to finish working all the way around. I'm going to catch my last stitch here and attach the two together. There we go. Once you made your way all the way around, you're going to do the same thing to secure the thread as you've done with everything else. Catch one stitch or isolate one stitch like this. Create a loop with your thread. Slip your needle back inside that same loop and pull it down slowly. And create a knot in place. Slip your needle back inside that same stitch, guide it to go through some fibre fill, make it come out from another side of the body and pull it out. And I'd like to do this part twice so the stitches don't unravel. And we can go ahead and snip this yarn off, give the body a little squeeze so everything goes back to its original shape. And now there we go, the dinosaur's head is now on. We're now going to stitch these spikes onto the dinosaur. We're going to be starting off with the tail end. So this bit of yarn that's coming out, we're going to attach it right at the edge of the tail. So catch one stitch right at the edge, like this. And we're going to secure this in place by making it go through the stitches on the spikes as well. Once we have done this, you're going to put it straight into the edge of the tail again and we're going to move up the the back of the um, dinosaur and over the head as well in a straight line and we're going to attach the spikes 
like this so make it lie down like this on the side and we're going to catch one stitch at a time and stitch them on making sure each time you lay them flat on one side and we're gonna sew it at the base and when we prop it up it will be perfectly positioned and in the center so just hold it with one hand and work all the way up the tail and then up the head as well go ahead and work that and meet me back here now onto the nostril for this dinosaur and I've already gone ahead and done one I'm going to now show you how to do the other side so we're going to be um, adding a nostril between round one and two so that's just these stitches here so we're going to be doing at the edge of the muzzle as well so slip your needle from one stitch keep one stitch in between and make the needle come up from the next stitch after that pull it through and we're going to be doing this twice so slip that in make it come out from that same stitch and one more time slip it back in make it come out from that same stitch making sure that they overlap like this and now once you've done that twice you're going to pull this yarn let's take the darning needle off pull this yarn down and we're going to tie the two strands together into a knot and it needs to be done at the edge of the nostril so we want to make sure that we're not pulling on these strands otherwise the nostril it will just disappear so we want it to be protruding and making and making the nostril stick out like this and once you've tied your double knot on this you're going to take your hook slip it from further away from the face make it come out from that same stitch where we have just made the nostril and yarn over with these two strands and pull them in and pull them out from here now i can go ahead and snip this off pull them a little bit more and there we go if this disappears you can always slip your hook underneath and make it wiggle just shake it a little bit and that will prop up again same thing here as well and that's it we want to be gentle with these stitches and now i can go ahead and snip it off from the side of the face And there you have it those are the nostrils of this little dinosaur we're now going to be adding little detail onto the eye as well so i've gone ahead and done this side i'm going to show you how to do it on this side so for this you're going to need dk yarn in black and white so we're going to start off with the little white line at the bottom for this you're going to insert your needle from the front make it come out from the back like this pull it out and we're going to from here up go through that same stitch one more time now to secure it in place you're going to oh, let's pull this out properly so to secure it in place you're going to go around the eye with this black yarn or the white yarn so it disappears behind the eye like this let's loosen this up a tiny bit from here And once we've done that, we can go ahead now and tie these two strands of yarn together in a double knot to secure it in place. Once this is done, you're going to take your darning needle, slip it back into that same stitch, guide it to go through some fibre fill and pull it out. Do the same with the other one as well. Same stitch go from some fiber fill come out from another side and release the stitches by pulling them up like this again we can now go ahead and snip these bits of yarn off give the head a little squeeze so it retains its shape again so we've done the white bit now onto the black one 
So go ahead and thread your darning needle with black yarn and we are now going to make a single line across the top of the eye like this. So to do this you're going to slip your needle a bit further away from the eye and make it come out from the top part just here like this and pull this through and we're simply going to give these two bits of yarn a knot as well and secure the ends in making sure that the knot sits on top of one of the stitches on the side just in the corner so it gets pulled in when we um, secure the thread in so slip your needle back inside that same stitch guide it to go through some fiber fill come out from another side of the head do the same with the other end as well if you wish to use a hook you can always do that by slipping your hook from further away of the, the head and bringing it out from where this, this black yarn is coming out from loop it onto the hook and pull it through and there we go now i can go ahead and snip both bits of yarn off give it a little squeeze if you can see that still and there we are adjust it accordingly give the head a little squeeze and there we go the final details of the eyes have been added now this brings us to the finish point Let's zoom out a little bit for you and this is what our dinosaur looks like If you enjoyed making this dinosaur with me be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching